So, sir, another uh, more controversial issue that has come up across our medical uh, systems in the country is the utility of actually taking temperature checks at all entry points for every visitor, every provider, every uh, patient coming into the hospital. You showed some uh, metrics about, you know, the likelihood of fever presenting with uh, COVID infection. Has there been any demonstrated utility that you're aware of to capturing COVID-19 infection coming in the doors of hospitals uh, by actually taking temperatures? You know, Colonel, this is going to disappoint a lot of people by saying this, but the answer is no. <laughs> the benefit is marginal. We have found at the NIH that it is much, much better to just question people when they come in and save the time uh, because the temperatures are notoriously inaccurate many times. So at the NIH Clinical Center across the street from you guys and at the White House where I go in every day, We've abandoned entry of a um, uh, determination of temperature for the following reason. It's in the middle of the summer. We've had like, what, 15 days, 90 degrees in a row? <laughs> so I went into the White House the other day. My temperature was like 103 <laughs> until I took it in the air-conditioned car, and it was 97.4. When I tried to get into another facility, my temperature was 93, which means I should have been on a respirator. So I, I think we got to just abandon that and say, let's just be prudent, ask questions and do it that way. Yeah. Uh, again, I think that sounds incredibly reasonable, Dr. Fauci. And we've, we kind of had the same uh, thoughts over at Walter Reed as well. So it's very reassuring to hear you uh, echo that as well. Um, 